Hello everyone, hi, this is Fahad from Future Phones and today I have a Samsung laptop to repair and uh, this problem is faced by so many technicians so I wanted to talk about this um, the problem is the display and the display connector and uh, what sort of voltages we require to get a good display because uh, this motherboard is uh, has a display through the HDMI port and is showing display on the screen with HDMI port but when I connect the LCD there is no display so this is a very basic repair um, if you have uh, very small knowledge with a very little knowledge uh, you can fix this uh, sort of issues only thing is uh, you need to have a good concept if your theory is right if you know exactly what you are doing then you can fix this sort of problem so again we have a display through the HDMI port HDMI port is giving display but there is no display through the LBDS connector so um, let me just tell you what model it is this is um, this is a LA8864P this is a Samsung laptop and the model number is uh, Samsung NP355V5C so let's uh, just do some diagnostics um, and then we will go to the logic first we diagnose what the problem is my power supply is set to 19 volt and 5 amps you can see that in the corner um, if I if you go on to this then you can see it's a 19 volt and 5 amps set and I will connect the power so it's, it's still off and uh, I will connect the HDMI port and I will take you to the LCD where the display is showing and uh, let me just put this in the diode mode and power it on yeah so give the power and diode mode and I think is one of these pins yep it's powered on and uh, we'll change the display to where I need it so you can see you can see we have a display on the screen yeah so we have display on the screen and uh, let me go back to my HDMI one okay so you saw uh, you seen it that, that there is a display and uh, what I'll do now, I will take the power off and I will connect the LCD with the LVDS connector and I will put it here so you can have a look and then we will go and see what is the logic behind this LVDS connector. Now this LCD is a known good LCD and this is a known good flex as well so um, this, if everything is right then we should have a display okay. let me just switch to this camera um, which is this one so this LCD is connected now I will give power to the uh, laptop again 19 volt 5 amps and I will just power it on okay it's powered on and you see there is no display on this LCD but if I do one small trick you could see the display instantly Okay, we will talk about uh, what it is, but let me just let me just do that first. So that's the LVDS connector, and 
I'm gonna just connect pin and we should have display you see we have display so what did I do let's let's go through the logic so we have the schematics available for this uh, laptop I'll take you to the desktop um, my desktop with the schematics open and this is the schematic for LA8864P so we are on the LVDS connector page already just show you I'm just gonna press one more time so we have the JLVDS connector open now so this is the LVDS connector and what we are supposed to receive so if you look at this these pins first 31 to 6 36 they are all ground pins and then we have a pin number 30 and on pin number 30 and 29 we are getting LCD I n underscore INV which we will check what it is and uh, if, if you go there oh it's right at the bottom so we are receiving LCD underscore NV INV after the coil number number is L2 and this is L2 is connected to B plus uh, so usually this B plus is the 19 volt rail which is uh, uh, present as soon as you connect the DC jack so I'm just gonna press one more time and see where it is available so not here not here I'm just gonna so yes you see that B plus is here so that's the B plus so your this is your DC in section so you insert the volt uh, 19 volt here and it goes through these two n channel MOSFETs <coughs> then we have a current sensing resistor which is uh, PR211 and then we receive the B plus after this current sensing resistor so this B plus is going right to the pin number um, 30 of the LVDS connector so let's see where it is now so this is a JLVDS connector I'm quite sure it was yeah so yeah so we have 30 volts uh, sorry 18 or 19 volts available at this pin pin number 29 and 30 then we have uh, two NC's which is 28 and 27 then we have two very important signals or voltages one is display of hash and the other one is LED underscore PWM so this is the LED power management and the other one is display off now apart from that if we go more further this is uh, LCD TX CLK these are all the data lines so we are not interested in them yet if we get the power correct and still we don't have the display then we can look into the data lines but we need to get the power first so um, so we have talked about 19 volt display of LED power management so these two and after that uh, these three actually and then we have a USB 2.0 and 4R on pin number one and two which is uh, connected to camera so you can see CAM at so LVDS camera so this uh, power is going for the camera front camera so we will leave that one so the powers we are interested in are these three so LED power management display off and LCD underscore in INV so we know that LCD underscore INV is already 19 volt now look at these display off and LED PWM display off okay I think it's on the same page so yeah it's on the same page just so this is what it was so we were looking at display off connector so the display off is coming after a diode so before diode this signal is BK off under uh, BK off hash so backlight off hash this is the signal and this is coming from page number 27 so we can check where it's coming from actually 
bk of hash okay i'm going to check where it's coming from okay this is coming from super io okay yeah this is coming from super io uh, bk of which is here you can see mm -hmm. so there is uh, nothing else in between so this signal is coming right from the super io and going to the diode and is uh, changed into um, so the name is changed and that name uh, that power is given to the uh, lvds connector so we'll go back again where it was okay oh, sorry it's just oh here oh it's here yeah so bk off is coming from the super io going through a diode and is becoming display off so bk off hash is a 3.3 uh, volt line and a signal basically and is going through a diode and is available here as a display off and display off is connected to uh, this L lvds connector at pin number 26 so the next signal is led pwm so we will look at the L led pwm so led pwm is coming from tl inverter pwm and is going through a diode and is changing into led pwm so we can also again check where this signal is coming from and let me just uh, con why is it not selecting yep it's selected now copy paste and i'll check for it so where is this coming from let's see oops sorry <laughs> I'm really really small don't know what I've done so so it's coming from RTD 213s so this is a power management of RTD 23 uh, 2136s and uh, And what is this? We can check what it is. The voiceover quick start. Voiceover speaks. Okay, and and this is coming from the the processor. You can see this LVDS translator RTD two one three six S is coming through uh, the AMD CPU APU. Okay enough of this uh, let's uh, go back to the jlb ds connector so we know that we need we have uh, two more signals apart from 18 point uh, 19 volt rail and those signals are led pwm and display off so what when i looked at it I'm going taking you to the microscope now. So we are interested in pin number 29, 30, 26 and 25. 26 and 25. Okay. So my microscope is on now. What we want to look is pin number 30, 26 and 25. Let me just uh, adjust it. So we have uh, microscope ready now. I'm just inserting the power and we will check the power rails. So my multimeter is on now. I was just uh, checking if the multimeter is. Okay, so we are going to look at the pin number 30 first. And we'll see what we have available. So pin number 30 is here I'm just uh, put this on the ground and so we have a 19 volt available just readjust this eighteen point nine six is available then we had pin number 26 and 25 to look for those 3.3 volt lines so we have 30 29 27 26 
30 29 28 27 26 and 25 so 26 we get nothing but 25 we don't get anything on 25 either okay let me just see So let's see on turn number 25 you don't get anything on 25 don't get anything on 26 okay let's power it on and maybe these signals are generated after the laptop has powered on okay so it's powered on now 18 volt available and the uh, pin number 25 we have 3 volts you can see 3 volt available pin number 26 we don't get anything on pin number 26 so we are getting pin number 25 we are getting voltage nothing on pin number 26 so the requirement was pin number 26 should have 3.3 uh, .3 volt and which is LED power management and on pin number 26 we were supposed to receive 3.3 .3 volt which is uh, display off signal display off hash DISP off hash so we are not receiving display off hash that's why we do not have display on this LCD you see that we don't have anything but if we connect you can see in the smaller screen we have the LCD here yeah so what I'll do now I will connect pin number 25 to 26 and we should get display on the smaller screen you can see on the bottom uh, right corner okay let's just check you see we have display now I know it's a bit faded but you can see we have display so that's all the logic behind it now we can trace what happened why we are not receiving voltage on pin number 26 so if we receive voltage on pin number 26 which is a display of hash signal we should be able to receive the um, uh, we should have a display on the LCD then okay uh, pin number let me take you back to the desktop which is here and pin number 26 which is a display off and display off is connected to a diode which is a D20 and it should be nearby the LVDS connector so let's look for the D20 and if you find D20 we should also find D19 which is LED power management so let's go back in the microscope so this is the LVDS connector we have few resistors here and okay we have D20 and D19 here so these are our two diodes that we were talking about D19 and D20 so uh, I'm going to just test these diodes first and we will see if uh, these diodes are faulty um, let me put the meter in the diode range okay we are in the diode range now and uh, we will check with the probe oh this is a bit loose as well so See, 300 we have value and the other side open line is okay so we have some value from one side there should not be this value and we have value from anode to cathode also 
which is uh, 299 which is okay what I want to do um, I want to take them just I'll remove these two diodes and check if that voltage is coming here which is 3.3 .3 volt and it's supposed to come from super IO Insert the power, fan is connected, power on the laptop, and the laptop is powered on now. You can see the fan is spinning. Where is it? Uh, okay, it's not spinning anymore. Okay, well, let's see if we are getting those voltages here. So LED power management is on in number 19. We are not receiving. Oh, sorry, it's in the DC range now. So we should receive voltage here 3.3 .3 volt. We should receive 3.3 .3 here also. You see, we don't have 3.3 .3 volt on the D20. So I want to test these diodes also, these two diodes, we will test them. I don't know if you can see them. So I'm sure these diodes are okay diode range and we will check them now in line or oh, we have value we have value let's check the other side we should get open line if they are okay so this is open line and then again this one it's also open line so these diodes are okay the problem is we are not receiving that uh, voltage from the super IO to uh, the D20 which is the back light off signal and uh, we need to trace where this uh, backlight off signal is coming from now we just go into the desktop which is here desktop and we have the back off signal so it's uh, back off signal is on pin uh, page number 27 now so we'll go there and back off signal is on pin number 105 of the super io so this is our super io here We'll just uh, check again. It's uh, 105 pin number 105. So you can see on this super IO, we'll just you can see the numbers quite visible here. So we are looking for pin number 105 and uh, I will just give power
to the laptop. Okay. It's an awkward condition. It's powered on. So we're looking for pin number 105, which is uh, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is pin number 105. See? So this is our problem. The IO is not releasing the power management, uh, sorry, backlight off signal. So we can replace this IO or we can do a small shortcut to or we can just do a small jumper to get the things going we can uh, use the the signal from d19 to d20 let's see uh, how we can do that and we will have a display okay let me just put these back on uh, my eyepieces are not right just one minute Let's go here now. these two diodes are in place now so if I make a small jumper with this wire from D19 to D20 we will have the display yeah Okay, my hot air station should be on now. Okay. I need some. some customer so I'm just making a jumper we are using 3.3 .3 volt from LED power management to um, backlight off signal and we, we traced this signal back to the super IO and super IO is not releasing that signal so there could be various reasons super IO may have gone faulty um, only for this signal though so so if we make this jumper here and just clean it okay look neat okay let's try now okay and give power and we have display look I think I will show you in that camera the bigger one where is uh, this one and you can see we have display so 
we have a display okay where are we now on this camera okay. why is it gone maybe some reason Let's give it power again. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened here. I think these things are loose. <coughs> Powered on, and we should get display. You see that? So, the job is done. This is fixed. So we used a shortcut. Uh, we could have used just change the super I/O or go for for the signals. But if uh, we can use that 3.3 volt to get the display on this LCD, if we do, if we are missing that, uh, either one of them, we can swap them around. But remember, this is nothing to do with the 19 volt rail or the main rail. If there is no voltage on the main rail, then you definitely have to look why it's not coming. Um, if both uh, power management and backlight, they are not available, then obviously we can't uh, swap them or we can't use the power from the other rail. Then we have to definitely go for the super IO or check where that signal went missing. But in this case, um, we have uh, used one little wire and we have the display now so thank you for watching I hope you, you have learned something from this video and uh, do like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions you can leave in the, in the comments section we will be adding more videos where we will explain the logic of uh, um, the ICs how they behave and how we can go around them but so it's very important to learn the logic behind um, the the circuit of uh, any uh, part of the laptop this is very important to learn so and we will be adding information about those uh, circuits thank you for watching again and i hope you learned something thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video